Hey guys, my day is William Jones and today we're going to be covering Google My Business Account. How to set up a Google My Business Account. Again, my name is William Jones. We're going to be showing you how today to set up a Google My Business Account. I've had this question come up and Google My Business is very, very, very important for a small business. So let's go over to Google my business oops misspelled it wrong i'm always misspelling shit wrong but let's go ahead and hit sign in let's give you an example and we're going to go add a business add a single business today we're going to type in i'm going to do a new one for rank fortress digital agency All right everybody's going to spamming nope i'm just opening up an additional location what's the business category is a marketing agency hit next and then the next step after putting in your business name if it's not already on the maps is going do you want to add a location customers can visit like a store no um i don't fall off for that so i hit next um where do you serve your customers? This is optional, okay? Um, do you serve them in the home, office visits, et cetera? Um, and we're gonna skip that. We're in the United States. This phone number is 904-770-5783. And then the URL All right you can either choose i don't need a website or get a free website and that'll be your google site all right <clears throat> so after you know your contact details it's going to want a mailing address i'm going to enter in my mailing address 3634 eve drive west all right jacksonville florida hit next <clears throat> all right it's going to take a few days i'm gonna put william and then what happen is they'll mail me a postcard right and i hit continue most people actually will think you can skip this but you can also add in okay add a customer service um, seo add another one website or design right hit next what's your hours you know well we're open 24 hours just say that okay go back to sunday we're not friday we are and then saturday we're closed we hit next messaging yes we always want to accept messages um business description now where i personally can pull this from and where you could if you actually had a website. If you don't have a website, let me know. I'll definitely help you out with that. But, you know, we could just take this for right now. You know, that little short description, put it here. All right, this is our description for right now. We can add in photos if we have photos, like the photos I have here. You know, we could hit save these images as has to be a JPEG file, save image, save image, etc. Right? We get add files, select photos, we can go to desktop, we can go to ideas. I can pick the team photos, rank fortress team. You know, all my boys up here, not all of them, but quite a few of them, right? And upload those photos um, and do that. So what we want to do with Google My Business when we're setting up our account is fill it out as much as possible, preferably inside the building that you're at or your workspace, outside your workspace if you have a physical address. Okay, and then you're going to receive in about 10 to 14 days, you'll get a postcard. That postcard is what's going to enable you to quote unquote have, if you will, Google My Business set up. You add some more photos, 
and we can go to our logo, if you will. We can add in our logo. Um, right, get all that information in there. And then go next. And then we could start advertising. It's even already talking about some advertising here, but for now we're going to skip that. Your profile's almost ready. We're going to hit continue and see what it's going to wait for once you've done that is a pending verification. Now you can add or invite a manager to it. What most people don't realize, you can actually, even though it's unverified, you can still use this listing once it's actually on the maps to get reviews. You can't respond to the reviews, but you can still get reviews. You can also still create posts. The only difference is they won't be public where you can be seen. And what do I mean by be seen? So let's say Roofer Atlanta. And if I chose, I'm just going to choose one of these Bell Roofing. Let's choose Bell Roofing Atlanta. Now, if he was doing any posts, you'd be able to see him here. When I say you can make posts, but they won't be visible, means you can make posts, but they won't be visible here until it's verified. Okay, you can create a post. It shows you very clearly. Um, but the posts are always, always shown on your Google created website. So the next thing I'm going to do after I do all this is going to be create a Google created website, but that's for another day. Um, but this is how we're going to get our Google account set up. And then we're going to wait for our postcard that comes in the mail. Once it comes in the mail, we'll enter it in. Once we enter it in, we're verified. Some things you may want to do, which I've discussed before, before even attempting to get this, is a DBA. And we're going to talk about that on another video. But once again, my name is William Jones. And in today's at a video, we covered Google My Business Account and how to set up a Google My Business Account. If you have any other questions, just feel free to drop it below. And I will make sure I make some videos regarding that because we especially want to help small business owners, especially during the pandemic, and help them get more traffic, more business, and Google My Business is the perfect way to do that by setting up your Google My Business account. Once again, my name is William Jones, and in today's video, we covered how to set up your Google My Business account. Until the next time, I will see y'all guys later.